Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I'm Scuba Daddy and today I'm going to be showing you how to massively increase your FPS in any game. Before we get into the video, thank you so much for, for tuning into this video. Make sure you like, comment down below if you have any questions because I answer all of your questions almost instantly. Thank you for tuning in and let's get into the video. Let's go. So um, after uh, playing a couple of games that had like insane graphics and a lot of mods and your fps just drops down and you know i have a good pc it's just my graphics card is not that strong to handle the newly made games or a lot of mods in games like lorem and stuff like skyrim uh i found out a way and an application to increase your fps massively and i'm saying massively because i will show you how to increase your fps in a way that no application can do so what are you going to do is Get your steam going and go ahead and find lossless scaling this little application right here it costs seven euros for me i don't know it's seven bucks for you if you if you dollar or, or something like that but it's usually around seven euros this thing right here is a lifesaver and when i mean a lifesaver i mean a lifesaver and i will show you why after we get into the settings of this application and after i show you how it works i will show you a demonstration after we see the settings so let's get into this application and how to use it correctly to get max fps in every game so what you want to do is launch this little application right here it starts off like this as you can see this is very 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 user friendly it's very easy to use and it has also a manual right here but i will explain a couple of things before you start going on and just enabling stuff i will explain some stuff that um, you might not know so there's a couple of things you must know about this application and it's just don't do anything with the scaling mode do not touch it it's not worth touching just leave it like that as it is aspect ratio and auto that's the best ones you can have and now let's go to scaling type. We all know there's some scaling types, AMD FSR and NVIDIA image scaling, integer. Now the other things right here do not use, never use them. They're not worth it. What I personally suggest if you're playing a, th if you're playing a 3D game like Cyberpunk, uh, Skyrim or, a, you know, a 3D based game, use AMD FSR. It's so much better than, than NVIDIA image scaling in this situation. I've tried both of them and if you use 3D games you're either going to use AMD FSR or Nvidia image scaling. Now integer is for 2D games. Now if your PC cannot handle 2D games I suggest buying a new PC. Like what the hell are you doing? Uh, but if you're playing 3D games go ahead and put on AMD FSR. You can adjust the sharpness that it will optimize on as much as you like to. Make sure you turn optimized uh, optimize version on because as you can see, this is an original optimized version of AMD FSR, which is better suited for less powerful GPUs, but has slightly worse quality. So what this will do, it will optimize your game so you get better FPS for the cost of some quality of your game. So if you can actually play the game on 60 FPS and you just want to get that 120, don't put it on. It, it's not worth it. But if you want to get max FPS uh, and you have like 30 to 40 FPS, enable this thing here it will help you out a lot now let's leave scaling type and let's head over to frame generation now this is where it gets a little bit confusing and i will explain everything and how everything works here and what to look for and what not to touch so what you put on the first option right here make sure you go for lsfg 2.3 is lossless scaling frame generation 2.3 which is the new version of lossless scaling which is the best one to use so make sure you put it on 2.3 now you do have a double mode triple and quadruple mode i will explain how this works uh basically because if you don't explain how this works it you don't you won't understand what this means so in double mode what it does is it doubles your fps but it gives you some input lag and um, when it gives you the input lag it does it so it has time to generate the frame that would happen when you turn around for example it takes some time to generate the frame so it just has a quarter of a second as an input lag it's not you don't really feel it uh when it's on times two and uh, it doubles it literally doubles your fps i'm not even joking i will show you the comparison and you will understand what i mean now i have it on double because i don't think it's worth using 
uh, triple or quadruple because it just has so much input lag that you it just ruins kind of the game so it's not worth using so if you're gonna use this application make sure you do on double i don't think you will need more now for performance as far as the version of lsfg which is better suited for less powerful gpu but has slightly worse quality i mean if you have optimized version on you don't really need to put performance on if you want to use performance and not use optimized version that's fine look it up just try it out and for yourself the performance version is not something i would use because i like to have the quality of the game and not destroy the whole game just for some fps but um, I would leave performance off and just use optimized version with sharpness because it does really help with the sharpness. Now clip cursor, just have it on. Um, it doesn't really do much. It just prevents the cursor from leaving the game window as in full screen applications. And I will explain why this is here uh, because this application, if you want to use it, you gotta have your game on windowed borderless application. So you cannot use this at a full screen game. It has to be on borderless window. I know it sucks, but this is how this thing works. You have to have it on borderless. So if you have this on, the mouse will not leave the screen of the game if you have some issues with that. Now, the other three, just don't touch them. Let's go ahead to rendering. And rendering is kind of important. Sync mode, we all know, is the vSync. I don't use any vSync because vSync just puts more input lag into your game. And you don't have really have much screen tearing when you have higher than 60 fps so make sure you keep it off do not put it above one uh only put it above one on the max frame latency if you have very very bad fps like 15 or 10 which is uh, i don't think this application will do much for you if you have that low fps i mean it does miracles but not that much of a miracle <laughs> if you know what i mean hdr support if you're playing with hdr monitor make sure you turn this on if you are using the hdr if you're not using the hdr on your monitor do not turn this on if you have a g-sync monitor make sure you enable this i have a g-sync monitor so i have this enabled it just it's it is kind of experimental it is recommended to you enable g-sync for full screen mode in the driver settings and draw fps if you want to see the comparison of the previous frames to the new frames it will show you exactly how many frames you had and how many frames you have now so i have this on just for educational purposes capture api just leave it on dxgi you don't need to change it uh, you can see here what it does captures only new frame captures uh, at dwm rate and captures all only older games do not change it you don't really need to just keep it there now let's go over to gpu and display for preferred gpu just leave it on auto and only change these two here if you have an sli pc if you have two graphics cards and you need to use two of them put them on whatever you want so uh output display it's literally your display but it will show i have the, the same graphics card because i have the same graphics on both monitors so it doesn't really do any difference now do not change anything on the crop if you have multi display and you have more than one display make sure you open this up and do not touch anything on the legacy because it's just if you have the game on window mode now all fun and games until you actually try this application and i will demonstrate to you what it means to use this application because this is huge this is absolutely huge let's go into um the mod list i have here uh fahluan mod list from uh, skyrim anniversary edition open this up and i will show you exactly what this application does now that we're in the game a very good example of a location as you can see the top right i have 40 fps steady and then when i look at like the grass and vegetation it drops down a little bit yeah so when i turn this on and I will show you the hotkey right now. It's also in the manual of the application. When I turn this on, you will see how massively and how beautifully the FPS increase. So what you gotta press is Control, Alt, and S. Once you do that, the FPS increase. You cannot see it because unfortunately it doesn't show on the video, but I, it shows that I have 31 FPS, like it says on the top right, but due to frame generation, I have 30 fps more so what it does it gives me a little bit of input lag so when i turn right right now and like this it gives me a little bit of input lag but it gives me more fps now it doesn't show on the river turner because this is frame generation it will not show on third party applications other than your application that you're using and as you can see it says 30 fps were on the top right but in reality right now i have 60 fps it shows me on the top left that I have 60 FPS. Unfortunately, it doesn't show it in the video because um, apparently this is application locked for some reason. But um, yeah, make sure you try it out. Uh, you can refund it if you don't 
uh, like it after two hours, like every refundable item on Steam. So try it out. If this is not something that you like to use for your games, just refund it. But I'm I'm telling you right now, you will not. You will like this application. You will use it in applications like Cyberpunk. If you use this, it will feel like you're playing the game on a high-end PC. So try it out for yourselves and comment down below what you think of this application make sure you leave a like on this video because this is something i've been wanting to do and i, I got asked a lot of times in my previous video how to install lorem uh if the lorem has uh any like performance issues or anything like that with this application i'm telling you you will be able to play the ultra setting which is made only for 4080s to be played well you will be able to play that setting on lorem without any issues 60 fps it's just incredible so thank you guys for tuning into the video and i'll see you all on the next one adios